Hi everyone, it's Paul here again from The Bloody Hex. Uh, today we've got a bit of a different video. We're going to um, go over everything you can buy off the Chip Theory website in the store for Hoplomarcus. This isn't my entire collection. I've left out bits and pieces that I've managed to get off eBay and other things, some Kickstarter items and stuff like that. This is just the stuff you, you can go to the website and purchase now. So, as you can see, I've got all the, all the box sets you can get and um, the, the mats laid out in front and uh, some uh, extra add-on packs uh, one over there and three over here and these at the front these are just um, some extras you can get from the website as well so what I'll do is I'll stop the video now and we'll go over each uh, set one by one and hopefully after this video you'll be able to work out what what you want from the website, like what you're going to get when um, it comes to your door. So, and then you can work out, you know, what you want to buy from there. Anyway, I'll stop the video and we'll get into it. Okay, so here we have the the Pizzoli Arena uh, that come with uh, the first version of Hoplomarchus, the Lost Cities. So I've got it laid out here just to show you how big it is. It's a lot bigger than the ones in Origins. It's probably double the size, probably even nearly three times the size of the mats in um, Origin. So uh, this is a fantastic arena to play on. Um, as you can see, it's got, it's got a lot of, inf it's got a bit of information about the arena. It's got some information about how to play and turn orders and stuff like that. Um, some crowd favored information down there. So yeah, so this is the arena you'll get when you buy the Lost Cities. I just wanted to show you it laid out. So I'll bring in the box now. So this is the Lost Cities. This is version two of the game, version two of Lost Cities. So I'll take the lid off. So I've obviously opened my box before and been using it. So it probably won't look like this, but it'll look similar. So what you get, you get three different draw bags. I don't use the draw bags, but um, yeah, they, they've added them in. You get a rules book. So in the rules book, it goes through, gives you a, um, a arena overview. Gives you unit overviews and just a few different things. Um, it explains about the um, criminals and bosses and the movement and how they move. So yeah, it gives you some co-op rules and stuff like that and solo rules. It's so they're 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 in depth without being too in depth without sort of overwhelming you. So they're really easy to learn and stuff like that. So that's the rule book. Then you also get um, three different, uh, I would say, fluff sheets on the three different cities. You get three cities in um, the Lost City. You get the um, city of Xanadu. So you, it's got front and back. So it's got a bit about the, um, the brawler on the back as well. Um, you get the city of Atlantis. And then you get the city of El Dorado. So a bit of fluff about that city as well and then you you get um, a bit of information on the arena and then what to expect in the arena the criminals and the bosses so like I said you get three different cities with um, the lost cities you, yeah so you get El Dorado, Xanadu and Atlantis each city has a um, champion a different champion for each city it has uh, four different tactics and then it just has some regular units. Um, so you get the normal allotment of dice. You get a couple of D6s, uh, four yellow, one black and one blue. Oh, two blue, sorry. You don't get any green. There was no green dice in the um, in Lost City. So if you're wondering where the green ones were, you don't get any green. You get a couple of crowd, fa uh, crowd favor like tracking tokens that you put up the side of the map just to keep an eye on that so you get three different ones of those and then you've got your um crowd favored uh gladiators and tactics you get one flip chip so you get a flip chip in every every uh, uh hopple of marcus game and then you've got your criminal and bosses and other chips in there you also get um a hundred health chips and they're just the normal regular plastic ones they're not the premium so they they weigh a lot lighter than a normal chip they, they're not the same weight so that's what you get and this is just like a filler so you can take that out and as you can see you can put a put your you can combine all your games together so that's 
The Lost City. So now I'll move on to Rise of Rome. Okay, here we've got laid out the arena for the Rise of Rome. This is my favourite arena of Hoplomarchus. It's the one I play on the most. It's the Colosseum, of course. The Colosseum, the best, the most well-known arena for um, gladiators. I love playing on this arena. I just love all the rules to it. It's, it's the one we use the most, and I think, me personally, it's the best one. It's, it's Rise of Rome is just, I love it. Yeah, it's my, one of my favourite just because of this, um, getting this um, arena in it. So that's it. So that's the arena, the, the Colosseum. So I'll bring in the box now. I love the artwork on the box as well. This is just, the, I love Rise of Rome. So yeah, we'll crack into it. So once again, obviously this has been opened before. It, I'll just show you. So... And, and you might notice I always laminate all the sheets that come with the, the packs. So yours won't come laminated, but yeah. So um, to start off with, you've got the fluff again um, about the Colosseum and what Titans you'll uh, come up against in the, in the Colosseum. I love that picture. But yeah, so there we go. And now Rise of Rome, this brought in another two cities into the game. It brought in Pompeii and Rome. So you also get... A bit of fluff about um, Pompeii and so how some of the units work again. Similar with Rome, a bit more fluff. And then you've got, you know, stuff about the units. Also, you get four Titan cards. I love playing this, this mode of the game. I love playing against Titans. That's why I, I love the um, Army of One pack, the add-on because um, it brings in more Titans into the game. Anytime I can play against Titans, because I do do play Hopla Marcus solo a lot of the time, so this is a great way to play solo. So, yeah, you get the four Titans, and just how you set up the board and their details on one side, and when they're rolling the dice, what they do. So you get four Titans in this game. You get the set of rules. Once again, it's got the uh, board overview, and then you've got like stuff like the chip overview and how 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 the movement goes, and you've got solo rules, how the titans they brought in titans and stuff, and all that type of stuff, and it's also got a bit of um, advertising in the back about a few extras as well into this rule book. So yeah, and then on the back, it's got all um, what the an outline. Like outlines all the abilities, attacks and innates. Um, you don't have to read that. Just check all my other videos I've got. Uh, I'm slowly working through and doing all videos on all that. So it'll make it easier for everyone to play the game. Okay. So what you get in the box. So like I said before, Rise of Rome brought in two extra cities, Pompeii and Rome. Once again, you get uh, one champion for each city. And you get four different tactics. The tactics are the same as the ones in the Lost City box, um, and each city, you know, the tactics are the same. Um, now, you get green dice in this set, so they've brought in the green dice now in Rise of Rome. So you get two green dice, three yellow, two black, and two blue, and a D6. You get the um, crowd favoured uh, gem counters as well. You get your draw bags, you get two draw bags which I don't use. And then you've got, um, obviously, your yeah, um, crowd-favoured tactics. And then you've got your titans and um, your flip chips. And then you get 150, um, whoop, you get 150 health chips. Once again, they're just the plastic ones. They're, they're not, they only weigh, they're very light. They're not like the normal regular chips. Um, you can use this box, like I said, with the Lost City box, you can combine everything. That's just a filler. So you can combine everything in this box. So that's what you're, you'll be expecting to see in the Rise of Rome box. So we'll move on now. Okay, so here we've got laid out the uh, latest edition in the Hoplomarchus series. We've got uh, Hoplomarchus Origins. So just to start off with, you get three different uh, arenas in um, Origins. You get Atlantis, El Dorado, and Xanadu. 
each uh, has its own set of rules and what you've got to do to win the game. It really uh, mixes up the, the game. It's really good, actually, like the way they've done it. Um, and you play, you can play solo or player versus player on each of the maps. It's, re it's really good. So they're the three maps you get uh, with with origin so let's crack open the box and i'll show you what you get inside now i've already opened all the boxes as you probably could imagine so this is just this won't be laid out exactly the same but yeah anyway so to we'll start off with you get the um the four sheets here uh i've laminated them so they won't be laminated but uh yeah so you get the solo trolls so you've got 20 different solo trolls they uh go up in difficulty um really hard start off really easy and then they get really hard so yeah but that's a great great thing to battle through and really if you're learning the game it's a great way to learn the game as well so you've got the solo trolls tells you what the champions do on the the back of the cards so yeah that's really good now the, the more rules around the um solo trials tells you where to set up the units on each map and stuff like that and the champions and that plays really well and then you've got house of reputation rules so you can keep track of how you're going you don't need to do this if you're just playing by yourself but it's just like a little add-on thing you can you can use and uh especially when you're playing against someone it's really good all right and then you've got the um the too many bones kickstarter preview if you haven't checked out too many bones it's on their store at the moment just as a pre-order um so at the time of filming so i'm filming in may 2016 so yeah go ahead to the store check that out that's their the next game that chip theory are putting out it's going to be awesome anyway so you've got the rule book here so it goes through and explains everything how to play each map and what the units do. Good breakdown of what the um, what's on the chips and what's on the maps and stuff like that. So yeah, so you got the rule book. Then you've got now this is the main game. So you've got some um, one draft bag here. I never use them, but you can use them if you want. Yeah. So the draft bag. You get the uh, dice here. So you got two black ones, one green one, two yellows, two blues, and you've got the counting dice here well you've got uh, two d6 sorry so you've got 25 red chips and 25 blue chips which is more than enough uh, you've got a flip chip to see who can go first and stuff now and then you've got the uh, five different cities so each city um, is represented in origins so that's really good so you can um, add these to the other games as well but I I've kept Origins separate to the other games. The other two games, uh, Rise of Rome and Lost Cities, I've combined. But Origins, see, uh, to me, is like a separate identity. It can be combined, but I just keep it separate. So I won't show you each unit, Chip. I'll leave that as a bit of a surprise. But, you know, like, they're... they're I'll show you one or two. They're, they're, they're just... There's some basic units for each, and there's a few uh, units if you've got the other game that you won't have seen before. Just like I've pulled this one out, Medulla. She's she's a new chip to Origins. So there is new chips in there. Um, so I'll just pull these ones out. So we've got um, like these are special ones to Origins and, and these are uh, maps specific. So we've got the Trident Spear, which you use on um, the map Atlantis and uh, the Sea Monster and a couple of tribute. Uh, chips we we use in um, on the El Dorado map as well, and then you've got um, a couple of champions up the back that you play against in the um, solo trials. You got um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six champions, six different champions. So that's really good, and they've got front and back as well. So the ones that um, the, the ones with the stars on them, they're generally the harder side to beat the champion. So that's a quick, really quick overview of Origins and what you can expect to get in the box. So we'll move on now. Okay, so here we've got laid out all the um, expansion packs that you can buy for Hoplomarcus. So there's four expansions. 
Um, so we'll start with the blade's edge. The blade's edge is uh, this top one up here. This one's going for $15 at the moment on the store. So in blade's edge, you'll get um, one champion for each city and you'll get one piece of equipment. So the blade's edge pack brings in equipment into the game. So if you've never used equipment, this is a good pack to pick up. Plus this pack, you get a, you get a champion for each city, which is, which is really good. It changes, um, like, uh, the, this pack just integrates into the main game really well. So if you want to check out equipment and get an extra champion for each city, pick up the Blade's Edge. Great little pack. Uh, next pack we move on is the Beast and Master pack. This one is only $15 as well. Uh, this one is a great pack. I always bring this pack into the game when I'm showing people the, um, the game because everyone loves to play with the, you know, a beast. I don't know, like my kids, they love it. They always want to play with the, the beast and master pack in the game. So you get, um, one beast master and one beast for each, um, city. So just, uh, for this one, they've got the panther the Pompeii, they've got the Panther and then the Beastmaster. So you've got a, um, five different beasts in there. Um, so yeah, I would say this one's a bit of essential because everyone loves playing with the beasts in the arena. So yeah. Then we'll move on to um, Legends of the Sand. This one's $20. So in Legends of the Sand, it brings, um, for each city, they get a brand new unit and they also get uh, extra tactics. So the new unit, you get two of the same unit, and then you get you get a brand new ta tactic. So you get three chips for each of the city. Um, just here, we've got for Pompeii, we've got the guard. So um, you'll get yeah units that you've never seen before. So uh, that that one is a really good one to um, just to add to the game. You can just uh, add that into any game, and uh, yeah, you get the effects of the new units. Now we'll move on to this one here. This one's the Army of One pack. Now, this pack, if you're a solo player, I would say is essential because you get the two Titans in the pack. Um, you also get um, a few um, battles you can play through as well. Um, it's a really... It's, it's at the start, I thought, oh, yeah, that's not a bad pack, but it's a really, it's a great pack to get if for a solo player, especially for the Titans up the top. You get two extra Titans, which is really good, and um, the pack's $20, but um, you also get um, um, Attila the Hun in here as well, and um, you get you get the um, three sheets here, uh, and you get, like, these battles you can you can play through like their solo play through and it shows you you know their their battle reenactments so they're really like they're, they're a really fun thing to do as well it just sort of adds a bit more to the game so definitely um the army of one pack is a great pack to pick up if you're only going to pick up one and you're a solo pup player i would pick up this one so anyway so that's um the four different expansion packs you can purchase them all together, um, and if you do that, it's uh, $55, so that'll save you $15. So you're basically going to get uh, one of the packs, one of the $15 packs for free. So, yeah, great, great addition to the game. I would recommend get them all of them, but, you know, I, I say buy everything. But, um, yeah, if, um, if, you're a, if you're a solo player, Army of One, um, if you're going to show the game to a few people, I would pick up the Beast and Master Pack. If you're going to, uh, if you play against someone all the time, the Legends of the Sand is a great addition in the Blade's Edge, definitely. Um, yeah, so that, hopefully that'll give you a good little, uh, overview of each pack. Alright, so we'll move on. Okay, so uh, here we've got all the extras you can buy on the website uh, just at the moment, time of filming this uh, video. So up here we've got the premium health chips. Um, although not essential, me personally, I play a lot of Hopla Marcus and I love these chips. I just They're just the best. They just... They actually change the game for me because um, compared to the, the plastic ones you get in the game, 
like these plastic ones they don't even compare to the premium health chips so i would say uh you get uh you can buy them 25 blue and 25 red for 20 dollars and you can buy 100 red seen here and 25 blue for 40 dollars uh if i only owned origins you could uh i would buy the 20 dollar set because origins you only you only need 25 blue and 25 red even if you ran out you could grab one of the chips from the base games and add in the the plastic ones and just add into them so but if i owned rise of rome or uh the lost cities i would definitely get the bigger set so the premium health chips all know although not essential they're essential to if you want to play hopla marcus all the time you know i just they're just fantastic um so that's the premium health chips uh, we'll move on to the staging mat. Uh, another th another item that's, you know, all these items probably aren't essential. It's just personal preference, you know. Uh, this staging mat is a great little mat uh, just to have beside you when you're playing the game to sit your chips on so they don't get damaged. Um, although saying that, the chips are very hardy. So they hardly ever get damaged or anything. I've never had any that have been damaged, so... Uh, and I play a lot of Hopla Marcus. So the staging mat um, goes for $15 at the moment on the store. Great little uh, extra um, if you're thinking about it. Yeah, it's a little bit thinner than the, um, the say, the Colosseum mat. I think it's the same as the um, same thickness as the Origin mat. So, yeah, that's just something on it. But, yeah, that's the staging mat. Move on to the steel alloy dice. Uh, this is how they come. They come in these little packets in a bag like this. You get six, um, six dice. Uh, you get a black, a green, two blues, and a yellow. These dice, they're fantastic. They, they when you roll them, they sort of thud down. They're just, they're so much better than the originals that the original plastic dice. I usually, I like using them when I'm playing um, for the Titan dice. I usually um, have them, you know, like a Titan thudding down sort of thing. I, you know, I really enjoy using them for that. So yeah, there's the steel alloy dice. Great, uh, great pickup. I, I'm really happy I've got them. And then here we've got the two packets of the build your own chips. So the so packet one comes with three cities. Uh, sorry, three of each city. So there's five cities. So that's how they look. So they've got the sticker on one side and then the blank on the other. Now what happens is when you buy these, the boys will send you a link and it links you to um, a download for the file, the uh, Photoshop file where you can print this uh, file off and then put the sticker on. Now the file they send you, it is a pretty basic file. It just, um, it's, I'll grab another chip. Let me show you. So when you when you get the file, um, this bit here will the the name will be blank. All uh, the uh, um, like the health, the attack range, the um, speed, and the tactical range they'll all be blank, and there'll be nothing down the bottom, and obviously there'll be no picture at the top. Um, so you print the file off, and you can either add the text and the dice in um, Photoshop. Or you can just print the file off and write the um, text in. So that's it's a pretty basic file. There's nothing. There's no. I think there's like two layers to the file or three layers. You can just change the dice on there and the um, what type of gladiator they've they've added in all the symbols for what types of gladiators you want. So that'll be the um, file you get. So it's a very basic file. But uh, yeah, so that's it. And then the next pack. You get, um, uh, what is it? I think you get, yeah, you get three, three uh, crowd favored tactics and five um, crowd favored gladiators. And you get uh, th these ones here. How many of these? I'll just grab these. Uh, six. You get eight um, criminal and beast chips here for uh, the Lost City. So that's the two packs. So they retail for um, $15 each, like $15 for them and $15 for them. Or if you buy both sets, you get them for $25, which is a $5 savings. So that's pretty good. And also, 
Uh, one last thing, what another extra you can buy on the store is if you get a chip that's uh, uh, the you know you're not happy with, or the um, you've got a scratch on it, or the stick has started to come off, or something like that. The boys will replace um, up to two chips for two dollars fifty, which is um, a really great deal. I mean, but like honestly, I've never had uh, any any problems with the chips. You, they're just so hardy, and like you just. The stickers never come off, but there is that service available if 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 you need it. So that's um, the replacement chip service. Uh, two chips, up to two chips for two dollars fifty. Okay, so we'll go into the um, final thoughts. Okay, so just uh, a final wrap up of all the products. Just uh, let you know what prices they are again and what uh, packages they can come in. So we've got. Just quickly, Lost Cities up the back, second edition. That's going for $85 US at the moment on the store. Then we've got Rise of Rome also. That's uh, in the second edition as well. That's going for $75. Then we've got Origins here in the middle. That's going for $55 at the moment. Uh, we move on to the uh, expansion packs. So we've got Blade's Edge here up the back. That's going for $15. We've got Legends of the Sand here, that's going for $20 US at the moment. We've got uh, Beastmaster pack here, that's going for $15. And we've got the Army of One pack here, that's going for $20, $20 at the moment. You can buy all four as a package for $55 and that'll save you $15. Uh, another package deal you can buy is the three games plus the four expansions. It's called the I Want It All Pack, and that's going for uh, $250 at the moment, which is great value. You save $35. So we'll move on to the extras quickly. We, you can buy uh, 25 blue chips, 25 red chips, premiums, premium health chips for $20, or you can buy 125, 100 red, and 25 blue for $40. We've also got the staging mat over here, that's going for $15 at the moment on the store. And then we've got the build your own chips. This is a pack here. Uh, that pack there is going for $15. And this is another pack up the back. That's going for $15 as well. You can also buy them in a package deal for uh, $25. So you'd say $5. And then we've got uh, the steel alloy dice here. They're going for $20 on the store at the moment. And one last thing they sell on the store is uh, a replacement service. So if you've got a chip there where the stickers, whoop, the stickers started to come off and um, or it's starting to rub away or anything like that, uh, the boys will replace uh, up to two chips for two dollars fifty, which is a great service. But Honestly, the chips are really hard, hardy. I haven't had a problem with any of them. So, but they do offer that service if you're unhappy or if someone uh, scratched one or something like that, uh, they will replace for that. So that's everything you can buy on the store. I hope this video has helped um, you decide on which products you want to buy. Please check out Hopla Marcus. It's a great game solo co-op or player versus player. Uh, I'll put a link to the description where you, uh, to the Chip Theory website where you can purchase all of these products. And thanks for watching.